by Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. All right, checking on our weekend forecast with meteorologist Andrew Samet. Andrew, I'm headed out to the fair later, you and I, to go get some food. What's the weather going to be like for us? <laughs> We're going to see lots of sunshine and warm temperatures, Judd, for us as we head out the door this morning. Maybe you're about to head to lunch or something like that. The weather is actually pretty nice out there for the most part. We've got a lot of sunshine. I'm out here at Peters Auto Sports here in Tyler and it's kind of comfortable outside right now. Of course, the sun for us is hasn't made it above the tree line at this point in time. But again, we're going to see the heat rise as we head throughout the day. Let's take a look at what our temperatures are at the moment. Uh, again, we are sitting. Uh, there's a pretty large temperature spread out there. We've got 76 in Marshall, 74 in Longview, but 85 in Jacksonville and 88 in Palestine and Crockett is up to 90 degrees. The reason for that, we've got a, a backdoor cold front that moved in last night and that's keeping some of the air cooler in our northeastern areas. But that backdoor front is going to be lifting up to the north across the area as a warm front as we head throughout the day. So everywhere will grow increasingly humid as we head throughout the day. And again, taking a look at your dew point temperatures now, they are in the upper 50s to low 70s. So that's why we have that front right now where the dew point splitting the dew points between the 50s and the 70s down there into Crockett. So again, it's muggy for some of us, especially the closer you get uh, to the Interstate 45 corridor. Now, as we head into this afternoon, high temperatures will be climbing into the low to middle 90s. It will be cooler in the northeastern areas, like in Linden, only climbing up to 90 degrees, 92 for the high in Jefferson. But the further south and west you go, closer to Interstate 45, the warmer you get, 94 for the high in Jacksonville, 96 in Palestine, and 95 for the high temperature in a two Crockett. Over the next seven days, temperature-wise, the normal high temperature is 87 degrees. We are going to be well above that for the weekend, so the heat is on for us as we head over the next three days. But late Sunday into Monday is when we will finally start to see that cool down that most of us have been waiting for out there where we finally start to feel like fall. We are also going to be mostly dry over the next seven days. That's not good news for us because we do need the rain. Latest drought monitor has the moderate drought expanded just a little bit more to include more of Smith, Cherokee and Anderson County. So we continue to need the rain. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a whole lot of it. Uh, we're not going to get any help from the tropics either. Right now we do have tropical uh, depression nine expected to become a tropical storm later on today and potentially a major category three hurricane before making landfall potentially somewhere in Florida, mainly in the peninsula area and Cuba as well. So this is a, a storm that we're going to have to watch, especially for our friends in Florida. If you have any family members there, make sure they are paying attention to this forecast and make sure they are starting to get prepared, such as having plenty of water to drink and batteries and, and things like that. But let's take a look at your forecast for here in East Texas for your day today. We're climbing into the mid 90s in the afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Again, some spots may be a little bit cooler depending on how far northeast you are across the area. For tonight, we drop down to the low 70s. We'll see mostly clear skies overnight with winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And again, there's that cold front late Sunday into Monday, which will finally bring some heat relief and humidity relief to our area. And it will finally start to feel like fall out there. So uh, if you've been waiting patiently for that first fall feeling, uh, it's going to arrive for us next week. We have to get past these next few days here where we see lots of sunshine and temperatures warming into the middle and upper 90s. And then by next week, we'll see those highs in the middle to upper 80s. Well, I am out here at Peter's Auto Sports in Tyler. We've got plenty of sunshine, barely a cloud in the sky right now. We'll see a few more clouds developing throughout the day, though. You can find your latest weather forecast over on our website, KTK.com.